It was not by chance that this struggle came to be. The blame falls squarely upon my shoulders for giving evil the chance it needed, and therefore fulfilling an ancient prophecy. Raiden's Earthrealm champions had failed to stop the Deadly Alliance from fully resurrecting the mummified army of the Dragon King. In the end, only Raiden himself stood between Earthrealm and total destruction. Defying the Elder God's wishes, he alone challenged Quan Chi and Shang Tsung in mortal combat, Earthrealm's last hope for freedom. the two sorcerers, and it seemed as though victory was at hand. But the combined might of Quan Chi and Shang Tsung proved to be overwhelming, even for a Thunder God. Raiden was defeated. The Deadly Alliance had won. Their victory was short-lived. As suspicion and lust for power overcame both Quan Chi and Shang Tsung, the former allies turned on each other. The deadly alliance was no more. He defeated Shang Tsung and reveled in his conquest. But it is said that there is only one true ruler of Outworld. And that ruler had returned. Filled. The Dragon King had indeed returned to Outworld to reclaim his army and impose his dominance. Death awaited all who stood in his way. was formed out of desperation. Sworn enemies joined forces to combat a greater threat. 
Raiden began to realize that even their combined might was not enough to defeat the Dragon King. There was only one chance left. Raiden's sacrifice was in vain, for the blast had little effect on the Dragon King. Now Onaga has what he needs to shape the realms as he sees fit. I was the fool who brought him this power. Only I can destroy this threat, born of deception. Sub-Zero. Round one, fight! Fight! <laughs> 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 
Round one, fight!
one, fight! <laughs> On his way to the rendezvous point with Raiden and the others, Sub-Zero was ambushed by a band of Tarkatan warriors in the living forest. He tried to outrun them, but there were too many. He was quickly surrounded. Sub-Zero decided that his last living deed would be to vanquish as many of these barbarians as he could before he succumbed to death. As Sub-Zero began his attack, he felt his armor speak to him. It guided and strengthened each blow as he broke their limbs and crushed their skulls. At his feet, a dying Tarkatan warrior uttered the words, Long live the Dragon King. <laughs> <laughs> 